Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Joshua Matthew. If you are old yet, thanks, I really appreciate. And if you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. In this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this using Photoshop. So before any further ado, let's get started. So now, so now what I'm going to do now, the first thing you go to your file, then go to new. Then I'm going to use A5 paper size, then select print, then locate A5, then change it to inches. Leave your resolution at 300. For printing, change it to CMYK. Then for social media, then leave it at ROGB column. Then you click on grades. So this is our working area. Now the first thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to copy the color code, which is this. 052E45. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then go to your solid color. Ctrl plus V to paste. So here we are. Then after this, I'm going to import my background. Then I'm going to import this background. Then scale it out a little. Okay, then apply your layer mask, then select your gradient tool, then while you blend here and the bottom here. Okay, so after that, I'm going to blur it. Go to your blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to make use of 6.0, then you click OK, something like this. Then go to your blending mode, and I'm going to change it to lightning. Then here is lightning, then you change it to lightning. Then after this one, then we are going to move to the second background. Then import this image, then you scale it out this way. Then I'll bring it here. Then go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to make use of 5.0, then you click OK. Then after this one, then change your blending mode. To soft light soft light so you are going to have something like this something like this then after then then what you will do now then reduce the opacity to 71 like this then apply your layer mask select your brush or press b on your keyboard then i'm going to increase the size of the brush then i'm going to clean up all this place then i'm going to clean up here like this so something like this then okay then we move to the last background, so which is this one. Then we bring it. Now, flip it horizontal. Then I'm going to drag it up here. Scale it a little, then OK. Then I'm going to change it. The opacity, I'm going to change the opacity to 33. Then this is what you have here. Then apply your layer mask, press B. Then now I'm going to clean up this area. 
then I'm going to clean up this area like this then you scale it up then okay so this is the outcome of it now so after this one now so the next thing we are going to do is to bring our test come over to your test then i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c and the font i'm going to use here is century gothic press it to select your test tool then come over here to change your your font then ctrl plus v to paste then you move it over here reduce the font size then ctrl plus a to highlight it apply vertical alignments ctrl plus d to deselect and still i'm going to reduce the font size like this then position it at the center then this picture i'm going to move it back this way then circle like this now i'm going to duplicate the test here ctrl plus j to duplicate then hold your shift key while you drag it down then you cannot use your arrow key then to move it up then highlight it by double click on it then i'm going to copy the test here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste Then Ctrl plus A to align, apply your vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. So now again, Ctrl plus J to duplicate this one. Then you use your mouse while holding your shift key, then to drag it down, then double click to align. Go back to your test, then Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now I'm going to to open the character spacing this is 1000 then i will leave it at 1000 then click on it and reduce the size this way then ok ctrl plus a to align apply vertical alignment ctrl plus d to deselect ctrl plus zero then to fit it to page and see how it come out ok now i can apply a shadow on it go to drop shadow then you can see the number here is five for the distance the spread is seven and the size is nine then i will leave the opacity at 78 and i will leave the blending mode multiply then click ok then ctrl plus zero to see the outcome of it it's okay like this now i will zoom in again then after this one then i'm going to select my test tool then go back to my my test then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c then i'll click somewhere here then ctrl plus v to paste then go back to your character spacing then press zero then you click ok you can see now i'm going to change the font to thinking of betty so i'm going to use this font here thinking of betty increase the font size a little like this then I'll position it here for now then ctrl plus J to duplicate then I'll bring this one over here double click on it to alight then go back to your test then I'm going to copy this text there ctrl plus C then ctrl plus V to paste now I'm going to change this font here to the font 
DCC Ash. So here is the font. Now increase the font size. Something like this. Ctrl plus A to alight. Then apply vertical alignments. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then something like this. Then I'll bring this one down around here. Okay. So after this now, then I'm going to select this one. Then go to my drop shadow. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to normal. Then I will leave the increase the opacity to 100 percent then the distance i'm going to make the distance nine then the spread i'm going to change it to 14 and the size i'm going to change it to 16. then i'm going to change the contour to this contour here so you can see the outcome of it then i'll click ok Then I will select he has this one. Then go back to my drop shadow. And I'm going to use the setting here. Then I'll click OK. So here it is. So having done this one, so the next thing now to do, then we are going to time and date. Now, I'm going to select my rent angle. And I'm going to draw a rent angle over here like this. Then apply a corner shape. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then hold your shift key while I will drag this one to the center here like this. Then I'm going to apply my color on it. So on this one, I'm going to change it to red color. So I'm going to copy this color here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then double click on the thumbnail. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. So that is the color. Now I'm going to import my calendar icon. Then I will reduce the size. Then position it here. Then I'm going to apply a drop shadow. Then I'm going to change the blending mode to multiply. Then the opacity, I'm going to change it to 78 then leave the angle at 90 then the distance i'm going to change it to 5 now then change the spread to 7 and the size to 9 then i'm going to remove this contour here so something like this then you click ok then ctrl plus u then i'm going to change this lightning to white then I'll click OK. So you can see it. Then if you want, you can leave it at black. But here yeah, I want it to be white. So now then I'm going to my test tool. And I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color to black. And I'm going to change the font to Century Gothic. Now close this character space a little. Then reduce the font size.
then hold your shift key while you rotate it then reduce the font size then I'll bring it over here then change change it to bold okay so having done this one the next thing now I'm going back to my test then I'm going to copy this one Control plus C then select your test tool then Control plus V to paste then go back to your character spacing make it zero then highlight this one then apply superscript okay now you bring it here then i'm going to increase the size then go back to your character spacing then to close it a little this way 80% is okay then use your arrow key then to drag the, your text now I'm going to select the two why I use my arrow key then to move it front like this then go back to your test again and I'm going to copy this test here select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then i'll position this one over here then reduce the font size okay then use your arrow key then to move it up then something like this now go back to your your resource file then i'm going to bring in this one then reduce the size okay then control plus u then you bring this one to the white area then you click ok then I'm going to hold my Alt key. Then I'll drag this effect to this one. So what I did is to copy the shadow. Having done this, so the next thing I'm going to copy the time. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Then Control plus V to paste. And I'm going to change the font color to white. Then highlight this one. Then I'm going to reduce the font size. Okay. Now increase the size of the text. So something like this. Then I'm going to select this rectangle here. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then select the, your time and the icon while you move this one over here. Control plus zero to see the outcome of it. Okay. now so what i'm going to do now then i'm going to alight it to select this one hold your shift key while you select then i'm going to group it ctrl plus g to group then you can now rename it date and time then ctrl plus a to alight it apply vertical alignment to centralize it Ctrl plus D to deselect. 
Then I'm going to select this rectangle here. Then go to my drop shadow. Then I'm going to apply this shadow over here. So this is the setting I'm using. The distance is 5, then and the spread 7, while the size is 9, the opacity is 78, and the blending mode is multiply. Then I'm going to click OK. Then hold your Alt key while you drag this one to the second one here to apply the same style. So after this one now, then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import my icon for location. Then reduce the size of it. Then you bring it over here. Then Ctrl plus U. Then drag your white to this area. Then you click OK. Then go to your location. Then you copy the letter Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your text tool. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you click OK. Then I'm going to reduce the size. Then position this one over here. Then select the two while you group it. You can now rename it. Then Ctrl plus A to alight it. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then you can open it. Press 0 here and then you click OK. So having done this one, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Then I'm going to use this red color here. Do something like this. So now I'm going to import I'm going to import this light here, then you drag it, then reduce the size, then I'm going to position it around here, then go to your blending mode, then and change it to screen. So here there are different or many options you can use, either screen, overlay, then highlight. So, but here I'm going to use screen. Then I'll position it here. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then why I'm going to position this one somewhere here. You can increase the size to your taste. Then I will group it and I'm going to, to rename it. So this is my light flare. So now, this is it. You can now group them. Ctrl plus G to group. So if you like this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification for more video. So please, if you love what I'm doing, and you, you like to donate or support me, please join the membership so that you benefit any pick that I'm going to share to the membership. Thank you so much.
once again thank you so much for watching and remember to support me if you love what i'm doing support the super chats by helping to donate then join the membership by helping me to grow and there are many things i could need to buy in order to enhance my graphic designing or the the video i'm posting so your help will go a long way if you assist me with any little things you you think you can do so please kindly donate and assist me by joining the membership and the super chat and the super thanks thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your following and don't forget to share my video and also like and your comments also make a comment on what you would like me to do in my next video i will respond to you thank you so much okay the last thing before i forget i'm going to bring down this time and the location i'm going to bring it down this way then open your test then i'm going to draw a rent angle here then i'll change the color to red then go back to your test and i'm going to copy this scripture ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus b to paste then go back to your font then change it to century gothic then make it bold now you drag it here and reduce the font size then hold your control key while you select the two then apply horizontal alignment then you click out then control plus zero zoom to page so here is what we have so that is all thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your following